Hello, this is Tomlin from TomlinHarmonicaLessons.com and today I am going to show you how to warble and then I'm going to show you how to play three warble licks. So for this lesson you will need a C harmonica and we're playing in second position in the key of G. So what is a warble? Well, a warble is one of these. So it's when you move from side to side between two adjacent holes uh, either on a draw or on a blow. So you can do a blow warble as well. That's also doable. But for now, we're just going to look at the draw warble. So the crucial thing is to make sure that you are moving cleanly between uh, both of those notes. So we're going to start by playing the three, four draw warble. So first of all, you need to hear what the three draw sounds like and what the four draw sounds like. Okay. And the way that you warble is, uh, well, I recommend people use their hands, but some people use their heads. That's totally okay. You move smoothly from side to side. But what most people tend to do at the beginning is they tend to hear the warble and then just do and do it really roughly and it doesn't sound very good. So what I want you to do is I want you to gradually increase the speed and make sure that you are moving evenly between the two notes and you're maintaining a nice clean embouchure around that hole. So let's see what that's gonna sound like. Okay, so that's what we're aiming for. There are quite a, a lot of sort of common issues that happen when people first start warbling. Uh, so the first one that I've seen a lot of is this. Sticky mouth. So what's happening there is my lips have got stuck to the harmonica and even though I'm moving it from side to side, I'm still only playing one hole. I'm still only playing the three hole because that's where my lips are stuck. So what you need to really make sure is make sure that you've got the inside part of your lips if you're a lip purser like me, uh, on the harmonica rather than the outside part of your lips. Because the outside is all dry, but the inside is all wet, which helps you to stay lubricated. Okay, so that's, that's the first really common issue that I see. The next one I, I see quite a lot is this. So what's happening there? Well there, my mouth is just too open, it's too wide, so uh, when I move between the two holes you can't hear me moving between the three and four, you just hear a kind of muddle together of, of both of them. So you really need to make sure you've got a good tight mouth shape. Okay, and then the final one is people going too far and sounding a little bit like this. So there I'm going between holes two and five, even though I just want to go between holes three and four. So to avoid that, it comes back to starting really, really slowly and gradually increasing the speed. Okay, and don't, don't go massively, massively fast. Uh, you'll probably find that you're actually okay, okay going a little bit slower with it. Okay, so let's try that together. We're going to play the 3 4 draw warble. We're going to play it for three beats and then we're going to have a rest on beat four and then we'll start again. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay, so practice that for a little while, and then when you're ready, let's move on to learning some warble licks. So your first warble lick is going to sound like this. Okay, so there I'm starting with a 3-4 draw warble, holding it for three beats, and then I'm going to play a four blow on beat four, that's a quarter note. Then I'm going to do a three draw half step bend and then a two draw uh, as eighth notes on the next beat. So that's. Okay, so let's try that together nice and slowly. One, two, three, four. Okay, and again, three, four. Okay, right. If you want to spend a bit of time working on that lick, pause the video and do so. Otherwise, let's have a look at the next lick, which is going to sound like this. Okay, 
Okay, so what I'm doing there, I'm actually starting on a four draw bend on beat one. I'm releasing it up to a clean four draw and then I'm turning that into a warble. So I'm doing which is a really nice way to start a warble rather than just going into it uh, directly. So let's try that together. So starting on beat one, then by the time you're on beat two, you will have released that four draw and you'll be doing a warble. So one, two, three, four. And you're holding that for three beats. Two, three, four. Okay, and then on beat one of the next bar, you're doing a two draw with a bit of wah, and then a three draw half step bend on the next beat with a bit of wah also. Okay, so let's try that together. One, two, three, four. Okay, right. Pause the video, spend a bit of time working on that lick, and then when you're ready, let's move on to the final lick, which is one of my favorite James Cotton licks, uh, and it sounds like this. One, two, three. Okay, so this one's a little bit more involved, so we'll break it into two halves. So our first half, Okay, so we're starting uh, just after beat three of the count in. And we're doing two draw, two draw, and then a nice little triplet sequence, three draw half step bend, four draw, five blow. And then on beat one of the next bar, we're doing a five, four draw warble. So we're actually starting on the higher note and doing a kind of reversed warble, which sounds really cool. Okay, so let's try that. You're holding that for three beats. One, two, three. And again, two, three. Okay, and then the second half of the lick. Okay, so we've got a little triplet starting on beat four. Five draw, six blow, five draw, and you're opening your hands with a kind of hand wire on, on the five draw, the first one. And then we have a nice little 16th note pattern, which is just four draw, four draw bend, three draw half step bend, two draw. And you're sliding down through them, and you start with a little bit of a wire on that first note on that four draw. Okay, so let's just try that second half of the lick, starting on beat four. One, two, three. Okay, now let's put both halves together. Remember, we're starting just after beat three. One, two, three. One more time. One, two. Three. All right, excellent. So if you want to spend a bit of time working on that lick, it's totally fine. Uh, and if you want to get the tab and access to the audio clips for each of those licks, all you need to do is click on the link in the description below. But before you run off and do that, just one little thing you can do for me. If you found this lesson at all useful, please give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button below. That would be much appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then subscribe to my channel because I put up a new harmonica lesson every Wednesday and uh, I wouldn't want you to miss next week's. All right, happy harping and I will see you next week. Take it easy. Uh -huh.